Hello, 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 everybody. How are you doing? Now, I hope you're having a good day. All right, here we go. This should, I think this should work out pretty well. See for a moment. Why not take a little look see woo hoo? Ooh, oh, shoot. Okay, that should be all right. Beautiful. Okay, okay, okay. That's good, that's good, that's what I like to see here. Okay, so today I'm starting off things a little different here. For uh I recently spent some of my own money to buy a, a gift that I wanted for myself for future uses. And I'm pretty excited about it. And so I wanted to do an unboxing of it. I uh recently purchased a lovely Arctic cooler. None of this is sponsored, by the way. This is also my own personal money that I bought. So I just wanted to open them up and uh, show them off to you guys. So I hope you all enjoy this lovely unboxing here today. We're going to be starting with the 45, which, oh, well, uh, yeah, I guess we can, we can transition over here. So uh, here we go. We have this lovely, lovely box right here. Okay, the Arctic 45. It just comes in a standard box as you can see the package i think it was like 30 pounds um the dimensions of this specific cooler are uh starting from the bottom it is 25 and a quarter long this way and then it is 15 and 7 eighths this way and from the top of it because the top is a little smaller it is 26 and a half lengthwise on the top so the bottom is shorter at 25 and a quarter and then the top is about what is that uh inch and a quarter longer so that's exciting um as you can see uh, you can't see it but now you can here um don't use any blades cutting in this way because you would probably scratch up your lovely new cooler which you don't want to do so let me go grab my knife all right here we go let's see hopefully you can still hear me pretty well so we're gonna start we're gonna cut sideways because there should be some protective cardboard here so we won't have to worry about cutting into our nice new cooler. I have been very excited about getting this cooler because I have wanted one for like three years now. So now has finally been the opportunity for me to get one. And so I want it. And I want with the solid seafoam green color, which is unique i think a lot of fun for me um sorry if this gets crinkly here but it's wrapped in a lovely uh paper here so here we go oh no paper come on okay here we go so here is the cooler Probably want to take off that plastic lower. That's all you'll hear. Okay, so here's the cooler. Turn it around for ya. So here's the lovely cooler here. It is pretty solid. It weighs uh, 25 pounds. It's got some weight to it, but it can hold, I believe. Uh, Hold on, let's see. How much can it hold? Uh, the weight, it can hold uh, 30, what? 36 cans, 40 pounds of ice. It could hold 45 cans. That's why it's called the 45. 
Oh, well, doesn't matter. This is the one I wanted uh, for I feel the 65 would be way too big for the purposes in which I'm going to use it. That is why I bought the 52 as my other cooler. Hey, Cinders, how are you doing today? You like this? Doesn't it look beautiful? Lots of room for all those stickers. Although I am going to need to give it a little bath. I have a whole bunch of stickers that I plan on putting on this. So anyway, let's get back to this. So uh, the front here has the, the iconic little latches here. What's nice is they uh, have, they kind of stay away, it seems like. So when you open it, ah, sorry. When you open it, it uh, they won't like fall back in the way. So if you go to close it, they get in the way. Because that would be inconvenient, right? If they close like that, so it wouldn't just shut. But it shuts. It's got a nice firm grip here. The airtight seal rubber gasket here. Seems well made. There's a little lip here to really sit in the groove that we have here, which is nice. A good little handle so you can grab the cooler and pull it up. Uh, so there is that. And on both sides here, I don't know if you guys can see it, but on both sides, right here where my fingers are, there are, there's a, a lock position where you can put your lock. So if you have, uh, if you want to like skip this, just put a lock through here, one of the long locks, so like that long with the long nose, and then it'll keep it locked so it won't open when you are going. Wherever you're traveling. On this. Nope. It was designed in Cypress, Texas. Okay. So as far as the inside goes, there is solid room here. I am excited about. The uh, inside dimensions of this are uh, 19 and 3 8 here by 11 and 7 8 here by oh it doesn't say what the top dimensions are oh well all right and then i did realize that i forgot to go over what the dimensions were this way okay so we have at the bottom going across we have 13 and three quarters the height of this is 11 and three quarters and then our width is 16 and a half up top here so it does get does taper up to get a little bit bigger at the top which is kind of nice so then you have more room at the top and a smaller base at the bottom okay <laughs> all right so on the bottom you can see they have their logo here and their logo is so that way when you place this in sand it'll leave the nice logo for everyone to see the lovely cooler in which you are using a little warning sticker we don't need that oh it's gonna rip oh no that's annoying well we'll worry about that later uh they also have uh rubber footings here so if you place it down somewhere it won't slide which i think is very nice their grips right here are i love them they do come above side of it so you're not like trying to grab it and your knuckles are just getting smashed into the cooler for all the weight you have in it it's a nice uh soft foam it's kind of like a hard soft foam though so it's very comfortable to hold on to some nice nylon rope here so if it gets wet it won't get moldy or disintegrate um if you probably can't see it but in here just because of how dark it is since it's black uh, there's a little plastic ring on the inside to make this tube slide very nice on the nylon rope. Uh, and then we have our water exit hole, which is right here. So you just twist that off and you can drain the cooler here. And what is also cool is on the back side, they have an air hole. So that way the air can flow through this, this one sits up a little higher. I don't know if you guys can really tell from the distance, but when it's sitting down, the air will flow in through that and it'll flow out through, the water will flow out through here. And that's probably because it's airtight seal. So that way it does not like form a vacuum when all the water is flowing out. 
so that's really cool and then on both of these gaskets this is a, a softer rubber here it's still pretty firm rubber but it's kind of soft right right here this is that way there's a little bit of pressure so that way it's a watertight seal so that is the lovely arctic 45 i uh very excited to use it. Oh, the hinge here. It looks like it is solid plastic with a rod. I don't know if the rod goes all the way through from this side. You can see the rod. I don't know if the rod is one piece or two, but it seems like a pretty sturdy rod, which is exciting. And if you did not want to use these handles here, the grips they have here are pretty pronounced. If you're like a rock climber, you got some nice jugs, it feels like, when you're trying to grab them. So that is exciting. It's a nice grip here if you just want to hold the plastic cooler itself. But I probably will be holding it mainly from the rope here, which is exciting. Because the rope is nice, it's softer on my hands. So I just kind of like that right there. All right. So, and then as far as locking down goes, this is pretty easy. You just kind of hold it down. But otherwise, when it shuts, the weight of the lid is kind of nice. So it like sealed, seals it shut. Uh, so if you're just like grabbing drinks out of it, it's kind of nice because you can just grab the drink and then let this shut and leave it. And it seems to have a pretty good seal. But if you're transporting it, I would lock these down here. Uh, they are the classic. They are the classic. Uh, just pull down and friction holds it since this is a little bit elastic. So you lock it down and it holds up in the knot here, which is good. So this is the Arctic 45. So I am excited about it. Now, I need to figure out where to put it. I have no room in here. Come on. Hurry. Right. Get this box out of here. Oh, wait. Here we go. Hold on. I forgot. So, one. Oh, it's backwards. Here we go. The so one nice thing about these coolers is if you didn't notice, there is a little ledge. There's two. Well, there's many accessories you can get, but there are two main ones I think most people will get. You can see this center line here, but that's a divider. If you want to put a divider in your cooler, um, you can do that. So that would just separate the things from one side to the other. I did not think that that would be too useful because as soon as you take out the divider for whatever reason, the ice would just go from one side to the other. But if you notice, there's a lip here. And what that lip is for is a nice little basket. And I thought, hey, Josh, that basket seems like a pretty good idea. Say you have sandwiches or um, something you don't you want cold, but you don't want it to get wet from all the ice. You put it in a basket. And so I was like, you know what? I probably will want a basket. So that is what we have here. Nice little basket. Packaging, standard box with some nice uh, big inflatable balls here so that is nice it's like an awfully large box for a small basket but anyway get rid of that so what we have here is our nice little basket now they make all sorts of baskets for uh all their different cooler sizes this one naturally is for the 45 so how it works is it only works one way so see if i can get see this there we go okay so if you can if you can see here it just sits on those this ledge here and another one down here and you can just slide it from one side to the other what's nice is it is small enough so in the event of you having the divider the divider will hold it to its respective side that you put it so the divider will just sit right along here 
It does only go one way, for if I rotate it, it will not sit. So you want to make sure that you have your love. Oh, you can't see that. You have your lovely lips cut out here that rest in the grooves, and then it can slide back and forth, which is very nice. So that is exciting for me, and I will get a lot of great use out of this cooler here. Now, moving on. Okay, so the other cooler I so the other cooler I also purchased was the Arctic 52 because uh, I one needed two coolers and two uh, one of them will hopefully hold some fish in it and I need the other cooler to hold my lovely lunches in it because I am going to be going trout and salmon fishing so i needed two lovely coolers one to keep the fish cold and two to keep my lunch cold so here is the arctic 52 so the dimensions of this one are uh starting from the bottom down here the width of it is 25 inches the height of it is 18 inches and then up top the width is 27 inches so it's a two inch taper that comes out um the dimensions of it this way here, starting from the bottom, we have 15 inches. The height is 14 inches. And then the top, which is a little bit larger, is 18 inches. So it seems to be a little bit more uh, narrow or tapered than the 45. But this one, I do believe it comes with a few extra amenities, accessories, than the 45 did. So let's get into opening it. Where's that knife? Again, there is a recommendation right here to not take your blade and cut this way. So I will not be doing that. But we will open her up if i had to guess i would guess it's going to be the same packaging that we had last time of just a nice plastic wrap there we go So, right off the bat, I can tell that one, this is lighter, which it is. It's, this is 20 pounds, and the other one is 25 pounds. Two, the, the edges and everything seem a little cleaner and less bulky. So, that's really nice that it is a cleaner look. Um, it still has the two spots for a lock. You want to lock this up, which is great. Got Oh, it's got different handles here. So, these handles here... They are a hard rubber with uh, some grooves in it. So I think these give a little bit more grip, which I think makes sense because you can put a little bit more weight in here. You can put, let's, as far as the weight you can put in here, you can put, uh, what? Uh, 52 quarts, but, as far as what what does it show? It doesn't give the lovely um how many cans the pounds of ice like the other one can. Uh, let's see. Nope. 
Okay, well, it doesn't say how many cans it can hold, but I would assume that it can hold more than 36 cans since it is a 52 quart cooler compared to the 42 quart. But anyway, here we go. Right, so, the buh, right here, the grips of it, these seem to be a little bit heavier duty than the 45 that we had. Uh, they seem to be a little more rigid and they seem to stay up. So if you notice the other ones, they wanted to stay down here. These ones seem to stay up, which is nice. And now let's open her up. So again, we have the nice airtight seal here. Oh, that's funny. So one thing is on this one, you can see the holes on the top here where they sprayed the foam in, which on the other one, you could not. So. That is something I was not expecting. But. I wonder how that will do with like water and everything getting in or splashing up top. But I guess water doesn't really splash too much on the top of the cooler. So we should be all right. Now, one thing that is nice is this one comes with its own basket here. So we have our own basket here, which is pretty cool. Um, one thing that's different. Oh, let, let me go get the other one. So, uh, so if you uh, notice here, we have the two different baskets, and the one for the 52 is a lot bigger. I don't, can you see that? Hold on here. There we go. On the green screen. So this is how they sit in their respected coolers. This one is a lot larger and a little bit deeper. So this this might be hard for you to see so trying to stay out of the way but this one right here is for the 52 and it is a lot deeper than this one is for the 45 so here's another another look at them the 45 which is right here is more tapered and it's more comes in at a greater angle where this one seems to be more boxy which i think is nice because it gives you more room to put your gear that you would want to put in the basket of your cooler what's up boy from venus i'm uh hitting a lovely unboxing of two new coolers that i just got because i've wanted these coolers well, i've wanted the 45 for probably like a year and then the arctic came out with this new one that's a 52 so I needed two coolers, and so I figured one for the 45 because it's more durable since how it's built since it's uh, roller molded, where this one's injected molded. So uh, I wanted the 45 because it'd be more durable, and it comes in seafoam green, which is cool. And this is the only color that this one comes in. So to show you the seafoam green, if you missed it. This is... The other cooler so this one is white and this is the seafoam green okay all right so another accessory this thing also comes with is this divider here which is kind of cool because it's a little bit more oh, which is kind of cool because it's a little bit more than a divider um i don't know if you guys can really see but this is also an ice pack. So. You can hear the liquid in here. So this is an ice pack. Yeah, so uh, these are going to be used for fishing. So I love fishing. And this summer, we're going to be trolling for trout and salmon. So we need one cooler for food, which is this nice white one. And one cooler for fish, which will be the nice seafoam green one. But, um, so this is the divider, 
which is kind of cool. So you can save on some ice by freezing this. I don't know how long this will last or how cold it will actually keep the cooler. Um, but this is something nice that you can have that you can add in to your cooler or it is the divider. So it's got a thinner profile here. I don't know if you can really see this, but this is thinner here. You'll see how there's like a little lip. There's a little lip here, so it fits in a groove in the 52 cooler. Uh, so we will be fishing in Lake Michigan. Ah. So as far as the inside of the cooler, you can see this is with the divider in it. Um, got some nice room. It's got the two air holes, one on this side and then the other on that side. One thing I forgot to mention, both of them have a V drain. So where the drain of the cooler is, there is a lovely little pocket for the water to flow down, which is pretty useful. So that way water will go out. And one thing on this cooler, I think the other one has it, is there's a little gap right here for you to put a tie. So that way, if you want to strap this down on, I think I've seen pictures for like a boat or maybe your deck, if it gets windy. I don't know where your deck is. If it gets that windy, they can blow like a 30 pound cooler, but there's a tie down so you can put, put through here and strap it down to wherever you need to go. And again, just so you can see the, the rack for your, only goes one way. So if I put it in the opposite way, it sinks right down to the bottom. So the ice rack only goes one way. And as you can see, whichever, if you have the divider in and the ice rack, the rack just stays on the one side. So that's pretty cool. But now let's, let's uh, twist off these racks here. Oh, now this is a nice feature right here. So, I don't know why they didn't do this on the other cooler. Because the other cooler is more expensive. But they added a little tie right here. Oh! So, as you can see right here, there's a little, little cable that'll hold this cord on top, onto your cooler. So, you don't need to worry about losing the plug, which... I don't get why they just didn't add that to the 45 because I feel like it would be make a lot more sense and a lot of people would enjoy it. But anyway, we have a little cable here, which I think is a great improvement. Hey, that's still awesome. Taking a boat on out of the ocean for your, uh, oh no. That cut off. Well, that's awkward. Hold on. I do apologize. Um, that is. That's awesome that you took a boat on on the ocean. I have. The I don't I have not taken a boat on on the ocean yet, but what I have done is I have taken. One of those big bikes where like the wheels, they're like inflatable wheels that are probably like six to eight feet tall. And it's like a paddle bike. Although I did that when I was like five and I only went out because my uncle was tall enough to reach the pedals. So he did all the work and I just sat there and enjoyed the ride. So that was pretty fun. But yeah. Um, all right. So now let's look at the other plug here. Oh, you didn't catch anything? Well, that's why they call it fishing, right? Not catching. But it always makes for better time when you catch something. All right, now here's the plug on the other side. You can see the cable right here as the cord is just dangling. I think this is probably one of the nicest features about this. That way you don't need to lose this plug here. Maybe I can fabricate something to hold the other ones on or just try not to lose them. But... Oh! Don't pay any attention to that. Um... Uh, as far as the construction, this one is a little different. As you can see, there are screws up top here to hold the gray and the white piece together. So it's not uh, it's not one piece. 
like the other one is. Um. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the two of them. And right, let's see if we can get a. I don't know how well this will work. Well, I guess I can lay them on top of each other. All right, and now as far as the bottom of this cooler is, uh, can you see that? Uh, here, let's look this way. Hold on. We'll get it. Give me a minute. I don't. Oh, uh, you might not be able to see. It. It's not as, it's not as obvious as the other one, but there is the Arctic logo here. The other one definitely has a better one. It's still, it has the same rubber feet. That's nice. Your cooler won't be sliding around. But yeah, and then this handle here. So if you just need to grab this handle here, it's a nice, nice jug. You really get a hold of it to tank up the cooler, get your food, and then that's that. The lid is still heavy enough. It's not as heavy as the other one. So when you drop the lid, it's not as forceful to like hold it shut. So there still might be a little bit of air getting in. But this lip here is good enough that it, it will do okay. But there is a larger gap in the side here when you drop the cooler. There's a larger gap where air can get in. For the other cooler, when you drop the lid, it pretty much seals it. So that's pretty cool. So here are... Oh, no. Here are... Here are the two nice, lovely coolers that I am very excited about and uh, hope to get a lot of great use out of. So, I, uh, I'm excited. I have yet to use them, obviously, as I just unboxed them. But uh, maybe after I use them at some point, I will come back and do a review of what I think of them or how I like them. So, we'll have to see. Thanks, boy from Phoenix. Yeah, man, I've I'm super excited about getting these. I mean, it's it's kind of weird, you know. People might be like, "Well, you're weird. You're excited about a cooler." Well, yeah. If it's a really good cooler, I'm gonna be really excited about it. So that is what I have for the coolers. And then also, I have a whole bunch of stickers that my aunt, my lovely aunt, has been getting for me, and so I'm really excited to put the stickers on it. I don't know which one yet. I'm thinking maybe the white one to give it some more personality since the green one, the seafoam green, already has the color and looks kind of cool. But I'm not, I have not made a decision yet on which one I want to put all my stickers on. So there is that. But I am, I'm very excited to put all my stickers on. I have over, easily over like 100 stickers, just different brand stickers to put on. So I'll need to, Lay it out, look at it, and decide what I want to do. So, there is all of that good fun that is to come. So now I'm going to put, uh, put these coolers away and then...